Hey everyone, before this video starts, I would like to say that my merchandise is out. There is a link in the description. You can go buy shirts, hoodies, uh, mugs. I made it as affordable as possible while also keeping the quality extremely, extremely good. So go check it out. You can support the channel. So thank you guys so much if you do decide to buy or even just check it out. I do really, really appreciate it. And if you do buy something, make sure you show me a picture of you wearing the um, shirt, hoodie, or just, uh, you know, the mug outside and uh send it to me on my twitter or instagram i would love to give you guys a shout out whoever buys it and just talk to you and ask you about the product and stuff and yeah that is basically all i want to say before this video so yeah thank you so much for the people who decide to buy the product or whoever just checks it out i really really do appreciate it and now let's jump back into the video what is going on guys welcome back to another video on the channel and today i'm going to be showing you guys another top five shops that you should build on your SP servers to get the most diamonds so i did do a video like this previously uh, not, i gave you uh top five shops previously i'll link that video in the description go check it out if you haven't uh, that is a part one and today we're gonna be giving you a part two to that and uh, yeah we're gonna give you totally different shops totally different ideas so what i'm if you're new to this uh little series uh, i i basically tell you what to sell an idea on what to build for your shop so uh, your shop design and the prices and stuff like that and some extra details so if you guys do like that make sure you guys stick around but Without further ado, let's jump straight into the cu first couple of shops. So the first shop is literally right behind me and this is the shop. So we are on our Unity Craft SMP server. It's a fully vanilla server full of YouTubers. If you're new to that series, make sure you guys check it out. I post videos on that almost every day. Not every day, every two days. But I do post videos on it a lot. And this is one of the shops on it. So I really haven't showed you guys on video yet. But it's a huge, huge castle, guys. It's really, really cool. Um, it basically sells... Uh, dirt sand rockets and uh cobble but what i suggest you do is you do sell four of these items and i suggest that you make the items change every single week just like the shop it changes uh weekly or monthly you can set a time period and that uh, the items can change so right now it's selling uh cobblestone for one diamond for three stacks i think there's a fair price if you want to sell cobblestone make sure you set that price and for sand i suggest one diamond per two, uh, th two to three stacks nothing more nothing less i think that's a perfect 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 price let's go take a look at the dirt for the dirt i suggest yeah but one diamond for three stacks maybe even four because that is really really easy to get but yeah people are gonna buy all of these stuff guys for terraforming and stuff like that so don't worry about not making enough diamonds you will will i promise you make some diamonds and rockets a diamond and stack is pretty pretty fair now i want to show you guys one more thing and that's we have another gravel and sand shop that you can do as an idea for your build and that is right here in this little pond so you can do like a little market uh, in the pond and uh, that is exactly what one of our members did it's really really cool you have this kind of little area you walk around and it sells our uh, gravel and sand now it sells gravel for one diamond per stack that is pretty pretty fair price you can set it to that price that is totally fine by me and sand one by one diamond for three stacks just like i said and just like the previous shop did i think that's totally fair you know you can do kind of this little market style build to sell the sand and gravel you know so specifically i want to tell you guys to sell sand gravel and dirt and cobble because those are going to be used for terraforming and you're just going to get tons and tons of diamonds from that so make sure you guys sell those items and i promise to you that you'll make tons and tons of diamonds for the second shop i suggest you make a totem shop okay people are going to buy totems of undyings all the time and they really really need it because they're going to be fighting withers um ender dragons and all the dangerous stuff that they don't want to die so they're going to buy it guys i promise to you that they will buy it and i still suggest you build a huge totem literally just like this so you can put it on a pedestal just like uh our server did and it's a really really cool shop you can get come in here and get your totem i i just suggest you sell totems there really isn't anything similar that you can sell if you are gonna build a huge totem so and this shop charges three diamonds uh, per totem i think that's totally totally fair you should charge exactly the same um that's really really fair like I, there's nothing i can say three diamonds for a totem is tons and tons tons of diamonds for you just imagine everybody buying it and uh, it definitely definitely gets sales all right it definitely definitely gets sales and if you have a raid farm which is pretty easy to build i guess you will get tons of these and uh, you, you're just gonna have too much for you so why don't you sell it and get a couple of diamonds am i wrong and for the third shop i can't believe i didn't mention this but i think you should totally totally build an iron shop all right you're gonna get tons and tons of money from this tons and tons of diamonds it's so easy to build and the iron farms are really really 
getting easier and easier every day to build guys it's seriously seriously easy you can do this right on at, at the early game literally on your first episode and you're gonna be rich in diamonds and you're gonna get tons and tons of iron so for this i suggest you build a huge iron golem or a huge poppy i don't know choose between those two i think that'd be a really really cool idea though this is an example if you want to look at there's a huge iron golem in the water i love how Corey, who built this did this so he put this underwater so he doesn't have to show the whole body that's such a smart idea for if you want to save on resources and you can do a huge iron golem literally with this little hand popping out so you can get in and that is the idea for the shop and if you just come in here you should charge what Corey is charging all right if i just show you what he's charging he's charging three stacks of iron for one diamond okay i'm okay he's he's low on stock but I think that's a really, really cheap price. Uh, if I'm being honest, Corey is selling for them a really, re selling them for really, really cheap, which is good for us, obviously. But for you, you might want a little bit more diamond, and I suggest you charge one diamond for two stacks. Okay, that's fair. If you want to get cheaper, one diamond for three stacks, but that is the max. Don't charge a diamond a stack. That is just, that is just too expensive in my opinion. So we'll charge two diamonds, or one, pardon me, one diamond for one, two stacks. That is totally, totally fair. And if you want to do what Corey did, charge one diamond for three stacks of iron. That is totally, totally fine by me. And for the interior, you don't really need to do much. <laughs> As you can see, there's a 10 out of 10 rating for this shop. So definitely, definitely sells. Iron is definitely going to be bought by everybody, no matter what, all right? They're going to need it for rails and many, many, many hoppers, every, everything, right? And this is a shop that you can build on day one, and it's going to last until you it's gonna last until the end of this world and it's gonna still be the best selling shop on the server so as you can see behind me for the fourth shop i think you should build a little bit of a risk but it's definitely definitely worth it all right it's totally like really really unique you should build a lottery system where every person can who wants to participate you can have a redstone to decide the winners and every person who wants to participate will have to it's gonna be like a weekly thing so if you want to participate you can pay three diamonds add your name in the chest i did it like this access and three diamonds and you're gonna get tons of diamonds from everybody because everybody's gonna participate all right and you're gonna get diamonds weekly all right every single week you're gonna get diamonds and it's actually just really really worth it and you can pick three to two winners so these are the example of prices so this is the first price you're gonna get two netherite scraps and a diamond sword with these enchantments sharpness five sweeping edge three and i'm breaking three and not back two that is just insane that is an insane sword and that's definitely definitely worth just three diamonds if for the person who gets it and it's also worth it for you because um you know if you have uh villagers and you know these these things are it's worth it right if you're gonna get tons of diamonds it's worth it to go and get these for you too and second price is three diamonds so you get your money back and a shulker box that is worth like two diamonds for our server that is a really 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 good second price either way and the third price is a totem of dying which you still get your money back three diamonds and yeah that's what i suggest for the idea i think this is really really cool i think you should show the redstone lamp so that people who are you know who pay for the diamonds can watch when you pull that lottery system and see who wins and get those prices just have a huge lottery here and yeah people are just gonna understand it and they're gonna love love the system it's super fun to build it's super super fun for the people who buy it even if you don't win the anticipation is amazing and you basically don't have to do anything every week you just set a price and that's it free diamonds so yeah that's our fourth shop now let's move on to our final shop for the day and now for our last but not least shop it's gonna be a potion shop so this is the potion shop that we have on our server it is pretty pretty cool it's a little bit of a cartoony design this remember this was built really really early on from the server so it's not the best design uh it doesn't really represent potions but it's definitely a cool looking shop and really really unique looking but for you if you want to build something else i suggest you build a huge brewing station a you know semi huge not too huge not too small a brewing station or a huge potion made out of glass i think a bottle a potion bottle and you can have the shop inside the bottle that you enter from the top of the bottle i think that's such a cool idea and you can definitely definitely do that so if we're going to check this potion shop out we have this interior i suggest you make the interior look like a little lab just like here it looks fantastic you have uh, brewing stations you have this guinea pig i guess and you have this you know little lab where you can make the chemicals that is just small details guys the customers are gonna appreciate it guys trust me i do appreciate it every day and you even have a zombie named bob all right okay you can have bob here you know attract the uh, people they're gonna walk around and they're gonna be like oh what is this bob hello bob and they're gonna buy your potion shop so i suggest that every shop has a custom order chest where you can place custom orders if you don't have that potion in your shop and uh you can do that and you can discuss the price over the people with uh with the chest here and yeah i think that's a really really cool idea to have a custom order chest i suggest that for every single shop you do just in case people want to order tons of the same stuff to get discounts or just different things that you don't have in your shop so this shop sells some diff many many different types of potions all right a few different uh, most popular types and number one thing they sell is 
Uh, by the way, they charge a diamond per potion. That's a very, very fair price for swiftness. Uh, potion of swiftness that you get for a minute and 30 seconds. That is really, really good price. And uh, the next, I, I just suggest you set it there. I think it's worth it. Uh, a diamond uh, per potion again. That is a totally a fair price. I would say just leave it at that. All right. A potion per diamond is totally fair. I think you shouldn't change it. Don't make it two. Don't make it, uh, you know, two potion a diamond. Just keep it there. Okay. Just keep it there. So this potion is night vision, eight minutes. Now that is so worth it for eight minutes of night vision. You just pay one diamond. All right, that is super super worth it. I suggest you make. You can have splash or normal drinking potion. Doesn't really matter. Um, just you know, just have options. All right, I suggest you have half splash, half a, a drinking. I suggest you make the same price. Doesn't really matter. I just give people options. Don't make it just one like this shop. Just something negative about the shop. Just telling you guys. And the next potion is same price, one diamond per potion. Fire resistance, eight minutes. Again, most worth it. Worth it. I'll totally pay one diamond for eight minutes of fire resistance. Another potion, same. And I'm guessing, yep, this is healing. Potion of healing, totally, totally worth it. All right, instant heal, two, one diamond per potion. It's just amazing. All right, it's just amazing. There's nothing in this chest. Well, let's check this chest. Nothing and nothing. So this shop is totally expandable. You can add more potions here. But it's just gonna give you tons and tons of money, alright, guys. And I suggest you have a potion of weakness, okay? That's one thing I'm gonna suggest to you guys have a potion of weakness because people are gonna be curing villagers and uh, people are just gonna be like, okay, I'm just gonna pay one diamond for it and they're gonna buy it from you. So I suggest you have a potion of weakness if you really, really want some ideas for some potions and some strength, maybe stuff like that. Just consider many, many, adding many, many versatile potions, alright, guys. But that is gonna be our fifth and final shop. So yeah guys, that is basically all the shops that I'm showing you for today's episode. I hope you guys did find this video helpful. If you want more of these uh, shop ideas video, please make sure you guys tell me in the comments yes or something. Just let me know that you want more by liking and tell me in the comment. And also if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. There's tons of good content for you here and we just, we're just a great channel, right? We're just a great channel. And if you haven't seen part one to this and want more ideas for shop, ide shop ideas, builds, prices, and all that good stuff, make sure you guys check the video down below. It's part one to this. We, we discuss other different shops, uh, another five shops that you might not know to do on your SMP server. But guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys uh, did like this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe for more, and comment other things you would like to see on the channel. But yeah, that is going to be it for me, and I'll see every single one of you in the next video. And